Hello and welcome to the short vort on Parshas Hazinu from Shlishi to Ravi. In this week's Parsha between Shlishi and Ravi, we are warned about the dangers when Israel or Yeshua, when Israel is on a high level of becoming wealthy and abandoning Hashem. As the Pasuk says in Parak Lamed Beis, Pasuk Tezvav, Shamanta Visa Kasisa, you became fat in various lashonos of fat, different languages of fat, but you and you abandon the God who made them. And they were contemptuous of the rock of its salvation. The Chavetz Chaim tells of a marshal of these two sisters. And uh, one of them married rich, and one of them married poor. And they were both from poor families. They, uh, the rich one moved away, and it was many years before they saw each other again. But one time, the poor one went to visit the rich one, and she came to the, the mansion. The door was opened and greeted by a servant all dressed up. The servant uh, drew her in, and they brought her to her sister, who was all dressed up very regally, very fancily, all bedecked in jewelry, and she almost didn't recognize her. But being two sisters, they soon uh, were, were talking, but eventually the poor sister said, I don't understand, you look so sad. You have all this wealth and you look so, so down. So the rich sister said, yes, it's true. It looks like everything is good. And it's true, I have a wealthy husband. He's counseled by all the kings. He's an industrialist. And people listen to his advice. And whatever I want, he'll give me. Money is not an object. However, he doesn't treat me the way I need to be treated. He treats me like one of the help. He doesn't listen to my opinion. To him, I'm nothing, despite all this money. So you, my dear sister, you're very fortunate. Even though you don't have a whole lot of money and you don't have these fine things, but you have a husband who honors you, who respects you, who considers you. And for that, you are so fortunate. So the Chabot Chaim says this is how it is with Hashem, that there are shuls where they have the fancy ark, they have the fancy crowns of silver and gold for the Torah, and they'll all be decked in, 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 in fine covers, and everything looks beautiful, but that's on the outside, while on the inside, they don't listen to Hashem. You know, whether uh, they're, they're religious, but they're not acting the way a religious person should be, and they're stealing, or they're not even Shomer Shabbos, but they come to their temple. So they can have all this wealth, but that's not what Hashem wants. But on the other hand, there are communities where the shuls don't have much, but they show great respect to Hashem, respect to Torah, respect to each other. And that's what a, Hashem really wants, not the external wealth. The external wealth is a risk. It's something that when you get fat, you forget and you abandon Hashem. You think, I made this, I did this, that you don't know Hashem anything. So it's better to be on the poorer side. That's where Torah develops, where you focus on Torah and you're not distracted by the iPhones and the iPods or whatever else the world offers. So at least we should try to strike a better balance between this world and the real world. Have a wonderful Shabbos, a wonderful Sukkot, and thank you for listening. And if you have any feedback, you can now send an email to devarman2 at ymail.com, D-V-A-R, M-A-N, the number two, at ymail.com. Thank you.